Hey guys, welcome back to Jersey Shore Beers and Brews Reviews. Final review of the day. I've got an Axe and Arrow beer, which is, they're a new brewer. Um, they're kind of putting some beers out though. Um, this one's called Mo Jarkle, and it is a peanut butter and jelly sour. Ale with grapes and peanut butter. Now you know that I'm not a big sour drinker, and uh, that's Muji though. Oh man, that was that was really good. That that could turn me into a sour drink. <laughs> but, uh, this one I think is going to be more along the lines of a sour sour. But I don't know. Maybe it's going to be uh, pretty cool. It comes in at 5.5 percent. Kind of a standard beer, you know. The other one was, you could tell when you poured it, it was just a smoothie, smoothie, smoothie. This one, eh, it's looking like a beer beer. This one's probably going to be not my style, but I'm going to review it anyway. I'm going to try and be, you know, middle of the road. That thing is clear. Look at how crystal clear that thing is and how pale that is. That is amazing. Basically, no head to speak of on it, even though I pour pretty heavy. Um, it's almost like a sparkling wine type thing. Um, head's dissipating. I can see the top of the, the liquid in there. It's almost gone now. Um, it's gone, pretty much. The whole top of the beer is exposed. Um, let's see what it smells like. It smells like a wine to me. Hmm. Definitely sour grapes, I guess. Um, yeah, I just did that. <laughs> you can tell how much I just love sours. The real sours, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm starting to get, you know, like they're starting to come out with different types. You know, just like everything evolves, if you will. Um, they're starting to break new ground, which is a good thing. You know, and they're using that yeast, that uh, tart yeast. Uh, for different things and it's it's working out that man that thing was really good um, But anyway, let's kick this one back and see what it is peanut butter and jelly, huh? Hmm a Little tart Definitely got the jelly and the, it finishes with a little bit of peanut butter not a lot You know, there's just those beers out there that are just slam you in the face this ain't one of them. Um, it doesn't beat you up on the sour side either. I mean, it's sour. It's sour. Some of them are like, whoa, you pucker up for like days. <laughs> this, uh, I don't know, my mouth is, is tangy, that's for sure. But it's not, uh, what's the word, abusive, if you will. I can suck down a little bit of it. Um, wow. Wow. It's a sour. I don't normally rate a whole bunch of sours, so I guess I gotta come in and like, I mean, uh, if you had it in your fridge and you were like, dude, it's not that bad, I'd probably try it, you know, again, and be like, oh yeah, I remember this, because it's not that whoa, whoa, sour thing. Um, some of them are, like I said, out of control. So this kind of fits in there. I'm just gonna go like dead middle of the road, 7.5. Um, give these guys a break, these new brewers, Axe and Arrow, out of Glassboro, New Jersey. Um, just not my style though. Well, you know, if you're a sour drinker, you might like this pretty well. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty mellow. Um, got some flavor to it. Not a lot of flavor. It doesn't slap you upside the head. You know, you're starting to get the gist of my, my, my ramblings of like thing going on, but it's, it's not bad at all. Um, so that's the, that's the review. Seven, four, seven, five. Anyway, if you're going out, drink responsibly. Don't forget about a thousand subscribers over here. Make sure if you missed any of the um, round tables, check them out, man. Especially the one with the Sam Adams Chocolate Stout, or Chocolate Bach, I should say. That one's hilarious. Um, I'll put a link up here for that one, um, just for fun. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. We'll catch you next round, all right? See you. Peace.